one tip. I give you one tip. And remember, do not reload your cores, but do not put them on rotation. Do not put your coils on rotation. Because if you do so, you separate the plasma and then you'll have a problem. Filling your cores with a combination of CH3, copper oxide and CO2. That you create the plasmatic gravitational gradient that allows the flotation and the rotation of the plasma inside the coil. You do not need motors to create rotation. Then, one thing you have to do to achieve the interaction is what will do, what will happen is that this system you got to understand now how the whole thing comes into operation. Because you are using three layers of GANs in this, fill it up, try to extract as much liquid as you can, water out of the circle. See what's going to happen to you. You will create a hexagonal field in all your reactors. If you understand it, you create the walls of your elusive crystal. You feed plasma through single crystal, monoenergetic, try to choose the same materials, slightly different weight in your system. In your cores, if you feed in, for example, one measure of CO2, two measure of uh, copper oxide, and one measure of CH3, in the other one, change the combination. Do two of the other, one of the other, and maybe three of the other. Because you need the gradient change that allows the rotation of the fields in this manner. 